Page 20, Ashokan Farewell, or Ashkan Farewell, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a beautiful piece. It's one of my favorite melodies. Three, four time. We're in the key of C major, all the white keys, although we have a few accidentals stuck in there. Let's take it one hand at a time and check the fingering and the rhythm and all that. Right hand, we have a pickup beat. There's only two eighth notes in there. That's one beat. That's beat three. We're coming in on beat three. Beats one and two are at the bottom of page one or page 21 there. There are two counts there. So this is three and one. And they want second finger here. So you're going to actually you're in this position. When you look at the notes coming up and the fingers involved, you find out you're in this position because you got an E later on. So it's three and three and one and two and three and then cross over second finger, we just change positions. Two, three, rest, rest, rest. They say lift. I, I, I don't teach that method. Some teachers do. They teach you to do that. I want you to connect the notes. So I want you to stay right there and just relax. Your thumb will move if you'll relax. Just relax and bring the thumb under. You can't see it very well, but I'm bringing the thumb under to play that. You need to be able to do this eventually. So relax and it'll do it. If you have to turn a little bit to help you find, but don't turn a lot. Don't do any fancy movements. It's just connected. And then measure seven is fourth finger. Two. We just took advantage of the repeated note to change hand positions. So, and then now you can lift up. It's a phrase, so we can get away with this too. And like you were at the beginning. Go down to measure 15. That's here. And then going on is the C chord and the measure 18. Same notes, but an AVA over it. And you see the dotted line goes all the way through. So you're you're an octave higher. So you simply come up here. And the last measure, I recommend a 1 4. I want to connect that. So it's here. Not 1 5. 1 4 there. On the left hand, just broken chords. C chord. Up here, C chord again. First. Then an F chord. 2. Rest. 2 3. Just broken chords. Hopefully you can handle that okay. On the uh, measure 18, you're here. Five seven chord, and they got a five one. I would suggest that you do here, come down here and play it with thumb, because I can move here. It's not that far. I can handle that. This is quite a ways. You're moving a long way here, so I'm not moving as far if I go here, because then I can reach out to the octave here. So again, the last two measures is here. Here, that's, that's what I recommend. Then put the hands together and see what... Make sure the left hand comes up on beat three. It needs to be silent. You gotta move anyway. Connect that. this together. That second line connected all the way through. Thirteen, fourteen, connect all that together. So you put the hands together and then go back through and get rid of the hesitations. Steady beat. As far as the articulation goes, this is very connected. You can lift up between the phrasing. Lift up. See, I, I still want to feel it here. I'm just going to lift up. is going back and forth here. And then lift up. This is how we can get away with this. Lift up. And this is all 
connected. Connect all that together. Measure 14 and 15, connect them together. Now you can lift up. And the last line, connect the whole line together. The left hand is just doing oom chuck chucks. Oom chuck chuck, oom chuck chuck, oom. Okay, we can do that. Sometimes you don't get the second chuck. You just get the oom chuck. Rest, rest, okay. Dynamics to the melody. Most of it's in the right hand, but occasionally the left hand gets melody too. And when it does, it's got to sound like one hand played at all. So moderately soft, MP, mezzo piano, whatever you think sort of soft is. The left hand needs to be soft or very soft. There, on measure four and five, the left hand has melody. Bring it out. crescendo up measure six up to moderately loud right there that's your moderately loud there's not a lot of difference between moderately soft and moderately loud you just go up a little bit keep the left hand in the background and then come back down to soft come down and then lift up back up to moderately loud, moderately soft like you were at the beginning the idea with the dynamics I hope. The last line on page 21 you're, you hear soft here you up here the left hand is very soft and then you have a writ short for retardando meaning slow down and very soft at the end both hands and when you play this I still want to hear this I want to hear it all and the fermati just hang on that and let it die away. Well, if I do this with a metronome, I'm going to hold that note two counts instead of one and then lift up. Yeah. It's just how I do it. You do it any way you want. As far as speed goes, well, gently flowing. So flow gently, I guess. one little change here you can think about because I told you like on measures three four and five to connect all that together well you can if you want try this in measure four separate the C beats two and three lift up like taking a breath put in a phrase there so it measure three you're here Lift. So try that if you want it's kind of I have a habit of doing that because I play a, a piano solo arrangement of this I think I put it on my other channel I don't remember of uh, uh, that I believe I'm phrasing it that way in that and so I have a habit of lifting up here on measure four between the last two beats And the same thing that I measure, uh, what is it, measure 12, same thing. I put in a phrase break in there. You do it as you see fit. Uh, I would not do it like they're showing it. That's too choppy. You know, it needs to flow better. Then they've added pedal. You don't really need pedal on it, but it's, it would be nice to have some overtones. Here, we want to color the sound. If I pedal it the way they're showing, this is what it sounds like. Same kind of pedaling style we've used before. It's overlapping. You, you do the notes first and then the pedal. Chase the pedal after you play the notes. that sound and you're okay with it go with it I think it sounds terrible I just ugh. I, I, it's okay if you're not listening it's like at the beginning at the pick we don't pick pedal the pickup beat well I want to do similar to that throughout the piece and I don't want to pedal these moving eighth notes and the first full measure I don't want to pedal the 
those eighth notes. So I'm just going to pedal the first two beats of the measure and lift up with the left hand for the rest at the beginning. This way I can hear the phrasing. And on measures four and five, Major four, at least, you don't need to pedal that. And if you need to pedal this to help you connect it, this is major five, the last two beats. If you have to have the pedal to help you connect it, change it on major six, though, but I'd prefer not to pedal it. Then, then wait to major six to pedal. Now, here, major six, you can pedal the whole measure. Measure seven again, I'm lifting up with the right, left hand, I want to hear the rest. And I measure eight, I'm lifting up, I want to hear the phrase, and I'm not pedaling the third beat. It's like it was at the beginning, I didn't pedal that, I don't want to pedal this. measures 14 on, you can pedal it like they're showing there. That's my impression of the pedal. I'd like to play it with you slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Not going to do any dynamics. I'll give us two counts. Ready and go and. That's two. And we'll go slowly together. I'm going to pedal it as I suggested. Ready and go and. <laughs> 